Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. The cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins. Check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description. And use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now, super quick, before we start today's episode, I want to quickly shout out my second channel. Link in the description down below. And I think I'll put it in the comments as well for you guys to check it out. Um, I've been posting a new Road to Glory that we've been doing over on the second channel, as well as I'm going to be posting a weekly episode of I Rate Your Teams over on this channel as well well so you can get two episodes per week the channel is just called more haber and the link is in the description uh and yeah please subscribe to the channel as i'll be posting more on it and you can guys can get more content starting off with finn's team who's got caputo now just a bit of an old screenshot you play a 3-5-2 in game with tavernier and pereira as wide mids tonali and Lamas dms with the baller at cam currently got 100k and the whole team including the bench is untradeable keep the great content well thank you bro i appreciate that it's interesting. So I feel like last two weeks, a lot of people were rocking the 5-3-2. And now I've played a lot of 3-5-2, which I'm not complaining about, to be fair. The 3-5-2 is a really good formation. And I can't lie to you, handed me my first L this weekend um, by a really good player playing the 3-5-2. And I just, I really struggled to break him down. Um, if you play it right, it's a fantastic formation. And this is a really nice team, to be fair. One thing I could ask, if you guys could please send me in a second screenshot like um, Drippy has over here. You see how he sent in what his team look like looks like in game as well that would be really ideal uh, as it allows me to sort of picture it a little bit better um in terms of this team though i wouldn't really change much as it's fully untradeable and i respect it and i think that you should sort of keep going down that route um what i would do is maybe i think we're getting a guaranteed what if pack and if we do get that there you go that's fantastic get that in there uh, and hopefully you can get a good what if to get into the team um but the rest of the team is honestly really really class i like the squad a lot i think it's got a you know a really nice uh feel to it i think it's built really well um and overall it's a nice team um Butch was fantastic i think desai is one of the best cbs in the game Lom is a really nice uh player as well um yeah and overall it's just a nice uh team realistically um give it a solid eight out of ten um Drippy's team now. This is my team. I'm looking at upgrading Duncan to what if Lucas Lever of about 130k. Tradable players are Barnes, Ronaldo, Varane, and Yuri. Uh, and Perez, sorry. Uh, love the content, bro. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Ooh, got an untradable primed SRE. I like that. That is nice. You know, I think Lucas Lever looks really, really nice. And obviously, with an upgrade, this card is going to be uh, really nice as well. The only thing is... I had to, uh, I don't want to sit there and tell you not to upgrade a card that you want to upgrade. But from my experiences, especially against this Duncan, it is the most overpowered and broken card in the game. Uh, maybe you guys disagree or agree. Let me know in the comments down below. But this card just seems broken. It seems absolutely, utterly broken. Um, and that right there is why I think you should honestly keep Duncan in the squad. Uh, if I was to upgrade anything in this team, personally for me, it might be Barnes. I understand he's getting Rooney on full chemistry, but I think you could do really a lot better in that left wing spot. Uh, realistically, obviously you're going to need an icon. Um, if you have icon swap tokens remaining and you're not looking to do any icon swap packs, potentially looking to get, is it over Mars? Uh, for, I, I want to say it's 15 tokens is honestly not a bad shout over Mars is a solid, uh, player in this game. And I think that he gets a lot of uh is Overmars as wait, am I am I being stupid? Overmars is in icon swaps, right? Yeah, moments overmars for eleven tokens. I honestly think it's a class 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 uh option. I know he's only got three star skills and that's gonna let a lot of people down, but for me, I think this card is really good in game. I think Overmars has been really overpowered in many FIFAs and really overlooked due to the three star skills on the wing. Um, but for eleven tokens, a one point two million coin card is phenomenal. Uh, and I think Rooney's good enough on eight chemistry up top as well. Um, and that's what I would personally do if you have uh, enough tokens left over to get Mark Overmars. If not, obviously, uh, maybe just save up and try to upgrade uh, to a different left winger. Uh, but I think Barnes is truly the weakest link in your entire squad. I think everyone else is really strong. Um, and that's probably where I'd say the weakest point of your squad is. I mean, he is tradable as well. So you can sell him potentially and, and look to upgrade too. Um, in terms of left wingers as well, what you could potentially do if you sell Barnes is potentially do the Nedved SBC. Now, it is coming in at a million coins at the moment. I totally understand that. However, um, if you've got a fodder in the club, which let me look at your bench, eh, you have a little bit maybe. You could, you know, you could potentially part with that Van Dyke. I don't think you need to keep that Van Dyke in the club. Um, realistically, you've got a lot of centre backs here, so you probably don't need him. Um, and if you've got some fodder in the club, and when fodder drops, inevitably when the icon player pick is out of uh, the SBC section, this should probably half in price. I'm not even joking. Maybe even more um, due to the fact that fodder is going to drop significantly when the icon player picks out. Uh, and that could also be a really nice option for that left forward spot. Um, 
next per player is sorry person is gonna be bradley um he says all untradeable 300k to spend keep it the good work bro thank you very much bradley appreciate it mate let's have a look all right so looking at this squad Puyo, nice. That is a card I think I'm going to complete on my RTG. Get a shadow on that card, though. Shadow's about 3,000 coins. Get a shadow on that card. Anchor is decent, but trust me when I say this, like, or a catalyst. You need to get the big pace upgrade. Otherwise, he's going to be obsolete against fast attackers, in my opinion. Um, the rest of the squad is really nice, though. Uh, you got CR6 uh, on the right cam. You've got Dybala, uh, Central Cam, Neymar, Lamb. Um, you've got Bru uh, Bruni. Rooney and Curtis Jones as your CDMs. Potentially, what you could look to do is maybe bring Neymar in his central camp. I know Dybala, I think Dybala's got a three-star weak foot, if I'm not mistaken. I might be completely wrong on that, but I feel like he's got a three-star weak foot. He does have a three-star weak foot. Uh, I think it's central camp. Sometimes that could be detrimental. Maybe you've got a good pass on, and he takes it with his right foot, and he scuffs it a little bit, whereas Neymar with a five-star, five-star over on that spot might be really good. What I would suggest is playing Dybala, Ram, CR6, Lamb, and Neymar central. And the reason why is because you can get the finesse shots. You can cut in on their right and left foot. Um, I think it adds a lot of dexterity to the game. And I think that, uh, realistically, people aren't really crossing too much. And crossing on the weak foot isn't the, the biggest issue either. So it wouldn't be uh, the worst idea in the world. Uh, we have got Spacky Khakis now, who said, got 200k for upgrades. Mbappe, Bruno, and James are tradable. Could you try and find a way to get Mbappe instead of James? Let's have a look. He also, by the way, opened a player pick on the stream yesterday and hit that primetto insanity. He's had... Mid Eto from a mid icon pack. He's packed Mid Eto in a tradable pack, and now he packed Prime Eto in a middle Prime icon player pick. Insane. Um, you're looking to get Mbabu in this team. How can we do that? We can definitely do it. It just means you're going to be playing someone off cam, which is a bit of an issue. However, not the end of the world. It means you're going to have to play in a couple of people off cam. Now, if James is tradable, here would be my suggestion. The right centre back spot, I would get uh, in the team this Dennis Agaria card or a Kanji, whichever one you prefer the look of at centre back. A Kanji is a bit more expensive, and by a bit more, I mean a lot more expensive. Um, however, D Dennis Agaria is also a fantastic looking card. Uh, and then I'd say Mbabu at the right back spot. Um, he's going to get that Swiss link. You're going to be playing Bruno off chem as well as you're going to be playing Curtis Jones off chem. It's unfortunately just how it's going to have to be. Um, but then in goal, you can go with, you know, you can go with Soma, you can go with Berkey, whoever you really want to. Um, you can pretty much go with anyone that gets a strong link to the right centre-back. Um, but yeah, I would say either Zakaria or Akanji would both be fantastic centre-backs. Um, so that would be my personal recommendation is to go with one of these two. Um, I've uh, both uh, I've played against and they are really, really good at centre-back. And I think they both work really, really well. A5's team now. Uh, after being banned multiple times, this is my two-month-old RTG. Depay in the whole defence, except for Laporte, are tradable. Got 100k for upgrades, but can either save up for Neymar or do Cliver after the second half of Icon swaps. Well, Leroy Fire has got an upgrade. I can't believe the like the very next game after Leroy Fire comes out, they actually go and put six past their next opponent. That's actual scenes. I'm actually going to do that card on the RTG just for the fact that he's actually going to get an upgrade as well. It's going to be an insane card. Um, my recommendation in terms of this team, I think this team is uh, pretty well built. Uh, I would personally actually get rid of Laporte. I would get rid of Laporte and I'd probably um, bring in somebody different, maybe even the likes of a... Dare I say it, a Joe Gomez or um, hmm, who could he go with here? I'm trying to think maybe going Lloris in goal is not a bad shout and going with a different right centre back. I just don't like, I tried that Laporte and I wasn't a big fan. I thought that he was a bit slow, a bit clunky. Um, I didn't think that he was particularly great on the ball and I think that it could possibly work pretty well. Um, oh, sorry. I misread your tweet. Uh, I, I thought he said... Uh, the whole defense is set Laporte are untradable, but the whole defense is set Laporte are tradable, so Laporte is untradable. My bad. Ignore that. Disregard it. Go away. Um, in the comments down below, is there any way that my man here, A5, can play, can start on better chemistry than he gets in game? Uh, because I think Leroy Farr, you know, could get better chemistry. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, Curtis Jones is on full chemistry, but Nick Pope. Don't just don't just force him in there to get him on an eight chemistry. Like get yourself Edison in goal, or even get yourself Larice in goal. That'll get for full chemistry. Um, that's what I would recommend. Um, in terms of everything else, you're asking me if you do Cliver in the second half of swaps or save for Neymar. You already have Bergwijn off chem. No point getting a Neymar off chem. I would save and do Clivert. 
Uh, I think the card looks fantastic. I think it's a really, really nice card. Um, and from what I've seen, I've seen some people absolutely destroy him with Cliver. So I think he could be really good. And it added another strong link into the team. That is necessity um, to getting some nice chemistry too. So yeah, I would possibly do Cliver. Um, next team is coming from Twisted Joker. You got 2.7 mil. You're going to try and build uh, this. Going to use Freeze Adama instead of building Robo. Oh, sorry, instead of buying Robo. Sorry, I'm really tired, by the way. Um, much love, my bro. I do own Anderson already. Should I keep him? Yeah, I would say there's no point spending an 85 rated squad on Joe Hart when you've already got a goalkeeper. If you haven't already got a solid goalkeeper that you're using, Joe Hart is a pretty cool option. And if you've got a lot of fodder in the club, may as well complete it. But I think that realistically for a goalkeeper, an 85 rated squad is quite a lot. And uh, you can spend that uh, fodder elsewhere for, you know, and you can spend it better as well, I think. Um, but yeah, I would say this is a nice team to be fair. I think this is a, a decent team. I would look to potentially build this myself if I were you. Um, it's a pretty nice team. Any upgrades I would make here? Um, I would probably only upgrade Joe Gomez in this scenario. Um, if you have 2.7 mil, let's take away like i don't know 1.2 mil for puyo and medved um because i think combined that's probably what they'll cost if you already have a bit of fodder in the club um so you say you got 1.5 mil for a center back maybe go with kyle walker playing next to puyo that could be a decent partnership one slow one fast um one better defending one less uh, good at defending if that's even a word that could be a decent shout uh we've got charlie's team next he says uh hey bro i'm saving up for Mane and lunin in goal i'm more only using varan because marcelo is too slow uh second is in game any improvements i'm not gonna lie to you boys don't ever worry about um justifying why you use certain players i joke a lot about the meta and people being like meta slaves and and varan and, and and mendy and whatnot i'm not gonna lie to you like it isn't my right to tell you what you can and can't play do never feel like peer pressured by myself or anyone else in the community to play uh different defenders or different players in general because you think that you're, you're being meta by playing like a varan for example i'm not gonna lie to you like who cares, man? They play incredible in game. Use them. Enjoy them, bro. Um, don't listen to what an idiot like myself says or anyone else in the community because like, we're just mad because we have to play against them and they're really good in game and it's difficult to play against. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I honestly wouldn't bother at all. Varan is a quality card. Use him. Use him and don't what, don't explain yourself to nobody. That's what I would say. Uh, in terms of the team, though, uh, it's a solid team. You save it for Mane. That's a good shout as well. Um, yeah, I think it's a decent team. I probably wouldn't uh, change anything in this team for a while, to be fair, uh, after Mane. Because realistically, the next upgrades are big players. I mean, you can maybe get a better center, uh, a better right back, maybe Deciglio from... Uh, Level 30, but apart from that, it's a decent team. I would say my only qualm is that you are playing Tavernier as a cam, and I don't think Tavernier would work as a cam in my personal opinion. You can always go with a right winger over here that could get you some decent chemistry and play pretty well. In terms of Premier League right wingers, I mean, that Rafinha SBC is still out if you want to try and complete that. Obviously, uh, it's quite a lot of coins, but if you do have fodder in the club, you could potentially complete that, um, and that would get you some decent chemistry. In terms of other right wingers in the Premier League, I think Nick Pepe... Uh, or Nicolas Pepe got a decent inform, or Bale got an inform as well. Um, both could be pretty decent. Um, there are a few really, really nice shouts as well you can go with. So uh, I would uh, think to yourself who you want to go with there. But yeah, I personally use uh, a different RAM. Uh, we've got Thomas's team here, who says, uh, got about 100k. Everyone is untradeable. We're thinking about replacing Awa with Future Stars James. It plays 4-4-2 in game. Nah, keep Awa, in my opinion. I think Awa's uh, quality. I don't think that CDM Reese James is particularly amazing. Um, I used it for quite a few games and I wasn't that impressed with it. I think Awa was a lot better a player. Uh, I wouldn't change anything about this team. I think it's a really, really good team, to be fair. Uh, we got Charlie's team next, um, who says, uh, All in trade, we'll save for Joe Hart and got 100k. Where should I aim to improve? Let's have a look. Yeah, I don't know about a bronze CM, mate. No, I'm great. I'm joking. Uh, decent team. Again, decent team. Um, I like Puyo. I think Puyo is a solid card and I like that you're using him. Um, yeah, this team looks really fun, in my opinion. Um... Again, I probably wouldn't change much, really, if anything. I don't think I'd change anything, really. Um, it is a solid team. If you guys have suggestions in the comments down below, please uh, feel free to help these guys out, man. It's greatly appreciated. And the last team for today's episode is going to be from Luke Gibson, whose first pick is starting second pick in-game. Don't know anything about his squad. He's got mid-hullet untradeable. He's got, uh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing untradeable anyway. I'm guessing all the icons are untradeable. I mean, wow. Some pretty inc incredible icon look. You've got one of the best right backs in the game. You've got one of the best right backs at centre back in the game. You've got one of the best right backs in the game at left back. 
Your right back, Pat Gluck, seems to be pretty cracked as well. Uh, this is a quality team. This is just a really well-built team, and it works really well. My only thing would be put Dybala, Ram, El Shadawi up top. And I know it doesn't make sense. El Shadawi's finishing, attack positioning, etc. isn't that of a fantastic striker. It just works. Weirdly enough, El Shadawi is cracked in this game. So I'd recommend doing that. And apart from that... This team is in absolutely beautiful shape. So thank you all for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching this video. Thank you all for the epic support. Thank you for 193,000 subs. And I'll see you lads later.